folks supposed to have common sense. But it's time for to start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. It's the unvaccinated folks that are letting us down. Hey, many fish. It is the 26th of July, 2021, 726. I do pray you're all well, at peace, in Christ Jesus. Even in the midst of a literal insane asylum and spiritually dark and wicked world, it's growing darker. But Jesus is the true light, period. Remember that. There is officially a war on common sense being waged. Folks supposed to have common sense. By this Nephilim, antichrist-created, zombie world hive mind. <laughs> it used to be that common sense meant you would question something, you know, or someone wanting to, say, inject an experimental therapy into you, or your family, or your children, but no longer. If you question the queen bee hive mind sorcery science now, you're automatically a problem and an enemy. All around the world, we see this unprecedented attack on common sense. And soon, Christians. Believe the science, they tell you, not God or the Bible or Jesus. And then they proceed to gaslight, lie, manipulate, and shame you with all manner of psychological warfare. Make no mistake, what you see happening here will promulgate throughout the world. אבל עדיין יש מעל 600 אלף צעירים עד גיל 30 שעוד לא התחסנו. אני מכבד דעות שונות, אבל יש רגע ויש מקום שבו הדיון הזה צריך לעצור. והוא עצם החיים של כולנו. המדע הוא חד וברור. החיסונים עובדים, הם יעילים ובטוחים. לצעירים באופן כמעט מוחלט, למבוגרים הם יעילים אבל לא מספקים. מעל מיליארד אנשים בעולם כבר התחסנו. אזרחים יקרים, סרבני החיסונים מסכנים את בריאותם, את סביבתם ואת החופש של כל אזרחי ישראל. הם מסכנים את החופש שלנו לעבוד, את החופש של ילדינו ללמוד, החופש לחגוג שמחות עם המשפחה. סרבני החיסונים פוגעים בכולנו. כי אם כולם יתחסנו, כולם יוכלו לקיים את שגרת חייהם. אבל אם מיליון ישראלים ימשיכו לא להתחסן, זה ייאלץ את שמונה מיליון האחרים בסוף להסתגר בבתים שלהם. לכן הקבינט קיבל היום החלטה. שהחל מהשמונה באוגוסט, סרבן חיסון לא יוכל להיכנס לקולנוע, לתיאטרון, לבית הכנסת, ללונה פארק, למשחק כדורגל או לכל פעילות מעל מאה איש, בפנים או בחוץ, אלא אם הוא יביא בדיקת קורונה שלילית על חשבונו. כן, הוא יישא במלוא עלות הבדיקה. אין שום סיבה שמשלמי המיסים והאנשים שכן מקיימים את חובתם האזרחית להתחסן, יממנו בדיקות למי שמסרב להתחסן. בתחום הטיסות, המחוסנים יוכלו לטוס למדינות הנקיות ולחזור, ולאחר קבלת תוצאות בדיקת הקורונה בישראל, הם יהיו פטורים מבידוד. אך לעומתם, מי שמסרבים להתחסן, ייכנסו לבידוד של שבוע מכל מדינה שיחזרו ממנה. הפעולות הללו יסייעו לבלום את התחלואה. אני פונה מכאן לכל מי שמכיר סרבן חיסון. שכנעו אותו, תסבירו לו, שלא יפגע באחרים, תשכנעו אותה, תסבירו לה, אל תוותרו. And it's worthy of note that this begins in Israel on 8-8, which has many interesting things connected to it, like 9-11, and the firebomb ritual sacrifices in Japan 911 months or moons ago. Yeah, I hope to share that with you in a video soon, God willing. So many things we can cover. But we now see this spiritual, psychological warfare manifesting into an actual, literal war. Uh, let me put it very clearly. You have no constitutional right to endanger 
the public and spread a disease, even if you disagree, you have no right not to be vaccinated. You have no right not to wear a mask. You have no right to open up your business. And if you refuse to be vaccinated, the state has the power to literally take you to a doctor's office and plunge a needle into your arm. If the vaccine- Where is that in the constitution? And at first, it's a war of attrition. They simply cut you off. Those who don't comply and consent to the beast hive mind, trusting the sorcery, I mean science, you know, but now we see that's not enough. They will wage literal, physical war on you. It's just a fact. Simply for critically thinking and practicing real common sense. So, you know, I am uploading the bit shoot and rumble. YouTube, seriously, is completely under the control of these, as Gordy Rose calls them, Lovecraftian great old ones. You know, this is spiritual war manifest, and it is pure evil. But praise God, there is victory in Jesus. Do you know him? I mean, do you? Does he know you? Do you have a relationship with him? And if not, you better get on that because, folks, it is on like Donkey Kong. And this will escalate very quickly. So I suggest you get your house in order muy pronto. Okay? In the video on Bit Shoot and Rumble, I talk about seeking place of refuge, okay? Now, for believers, Jesus is our refuge. He's our eternal refuge. But while we occupy this mortal flesh, we must be wise as serpents and gentle. Love our enemies. That doesn't mean engage the enemy, but avoid them. Get out of the way. Let the Holy Spirit of the living God through Jesus Christ guide your steps. And he will protect you and show you mercy. That's a fact. Anyway, the war has officially arrived. Guess what? Uh, more mitigation is coming. Whether it's masking or whether it's closures or whether it's your kids having to return the virtual learning. That is coming and it's coming because this pandemic is spiraling out of control yet again. And it's spiraling out of control because we don't have enough people vaccinated. So get vaccinated because it helps your neighbors, but get vaccinated because it's going to help every single American enjoy the freedoms that we want to return to. I can tell you the quickest way to get people vaccinated is through mandates. Are you donning the whole armor of God by Jesus Christ? I pray you are. I do love you all and I do pray for you all. God bless you. May the peace and the grace of Jesus, the Christ, be with you all, always. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God.